90 Day Fiancé star Nicole's stepdad reveals her wedding to Ozan has been called off, the timing wasn't right. Say it ain't so. 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After stars Nicole Nafziger and Ozan Tafu have called off their wedding, according to Nicole's stepdad Joe Foraker. They called it off, he told Radar Online. They said the timing wasn't right. Veil, vale, that was fun. As fans recall. Nicole literally moved to Morocco to marry Azan so he could live in the U.S. Obviously, those plans have changed, but Joe and his wife Rob Lee seem pretty thrilled with their daughter's decision. In fact, they said their prayers were answered. Sorry, Azan. So is the wedding over for good? Well, not exactly. Is she going back to get married? I don't know, Joe said. She still talks to him. I think she still intends to go back. The wedding dress is still there. But there's actually a reason why the timing might not have been right for the couple. Apparently, Nicole's visa ran out in May so she had to return home to Florida. She had to come back here, Joe continued. She was there for almost six months. She is now living with her sister in a mobile home. Her daughter May is with her. Nicole is no stranger to getting criticism for her life choices, but according to her latest Instagram posts, she DGAF what her haters think. My life. My choices. My mistakes. My lessons. Not your business. Read one text post. She also shared a meme that said, Me listening to people who never sat down and actually got to know me make inaccurate statements about my character. It's no surprise Nicole is taking to social media to defend herself, especially after Ozan's alleged cheating scandal. Last episode. Fans learned that audio clips surfaced of Azan talking to other women, and Nicole completely lost it. Good morning. I'm so sleepy. But I want a kiss right now, Azan allegedly said in one of the recordings. The kiss was good. What did you dream about last night? I think you want it. Although Azan has denied the allegations, it's clear these two have some things to sort out. Perhaps calling off the wedding wasn't such a bad idea.